Nowadays, it's normal to see the Pope surrounded by cameramen and photographers, all of them constantly tracking his every move. But years ago, pictures were so limited that every single one had a special value. So much so that the Vatican's Apostolic Library began to collect these pictures in an archive. The interest in this collection is fairly recent, but it's already quite large. It includes more than 100,000 photographs from the 1800 and 1900s. And now the Vatican has published two books that include key pictures from this collection. One of the books is titled 100 Images of the 19th Century. The other is the papal collection of photographs. It includes pictures taken of the Vatican, but also pictures and postcards that people from all over the world would send to the Pope. The Pope was in the Vatican and he couldn't travel. And um, even if he could, it was much more difficult than it is today. So, so the um, photograph was a kind of physical contact. The pictures and letters talked about wars, migrations. Others focused on lighter topics like local projects and the building of community churches. But eventually, less and less pictures would arrive. The most interesting really stopped uh, about the time of Mussolini, when Mussolini made his arrangement with the, the state of Italy uh, to open up the Vatican to, to the world. In fact, the first pope to have his picture formally taken was Pius IX back in 1845. In one of the books, there's also pictures of local Italian cities and famous sites. It's a way to see how some Italian cities have changed over the years. It's a way to truly understand how it came to be. We can see the changes that have happened through the centuries. Anna Maria Volton says it took her roughly three years to choose and research key pictures from the Vatican's archive. More than just a mere collection of pictures, she says these books are a window into history.